When you get the interview question, tell me about a time you failed. Specifically answer this question instead. Tell me about a time you failed and the steps you took to fix the problem, improve things, etc. This is the only way you should be answering the failure question because otherwise you're simply telling your interviewer a story about your failure and this does not lead to a positive impression of you. So quickly highlight what went wrong, think 30 to 40 seconds, then talk through all the steps you took to address that failure and the awesome results because of it. Trust me, this will land much better. I strongly encourage you to try this approach. So let's dive right into what a sample answer might look like. And as always, let's imagine our fake interviewer is Sue and Sue asks, asks us this question. Jeff, tell me about a time you failed. Sue, this is an example from my time as a software engineer at Health Tech, a leader in healthcare software. I was part of a project to develop a new patient management system. The challenge was integrating this system with diverse hospital databases and ensuring it was user-friendly specifically for our non-technical staff. Unfortunately, our initial release did not meet both the hospital's performance and usability expectations. Let me tell you about the steps I took to improve the performance and actually end up exceeding our customers' expectations. After that initial failure, I immediately embarked on a comprehensive data analysis. I meticulously reviewed server logs to understand the performance issues. I scrutinized user feedback for insights into usability problems, and I analyzed the system's metrics to identify any overloads and or inefficiencies. This examination was crucial, crucial in pinpointing specific areas where the system fell short, such as data processing, bottlenecks, and user interface complexities that were not initially apparent. Then, based on the insights gained from the data analysis, I restructured our development strategy. I did that by prioritizing tasks, focusing first on enhancing the system's data processing capabilities to handle, handle larger loads more efficiently, and then on redesigning the user interface for greater simplicity and intuitiveness. And then this revised plan was broken into smaller achievable goals with new mini deadlines, ensuring a focused and manageable approach to addressing all of the system's shortcomings. Then I recognized the importance of stakeholder feedback. I initiated a series of in-depth discussions with the hospital staff. These meetings were designed to gather detailed, firsthand accounts of their experiences with the system, focusing in on specific issues they encountered in their daily operations. And this direct engagement not only provided invaluable insights into practical usability issues, but it also started to help build re rebuild that trust and demonstrate our commitment to delivering a system that truly met their needs. Then we adopted a rapid, iterative, development approach focusing in on continuous improvement. Each integration involved implementing changes, releasing updates to a controlled user group, and collecting immediate feedback. This cycle was repeated multiple times, allowing us to incrementally refine the system. And this process wasn't just about fixing bugs. It was a proactive approach to evolve the system based on real user experiences. So we ensured that each update brought us closer to the solution that was both robust and user-friendly. And to foster strong ongoing relationships with the hospital staff, I ensured consistent and transparent communication throughout the redevelopment process. Regular updates were provided not just in our progress, but also seeking their input and showing responsiveness to their concerns. This continuous dialogue helped us maintain this collaborative atmosphere, reassuring that the stakeholders were really able to see that fine tuning of the system and that we that fine tuning of the system was really aligned with their needs. And the results were this awesome and comprehensive approach taken after that initial failure led to significant improvements in the system. We achieved a 50% increase in handling data efficiency, and we also just had a noticeable overall improvement in the user interface simplicity and this led to a lot of positive feedback from the hospital staff. Lastly, this experience not only improved this specific project, but it also had a lasting impact on our team's approach to software development. 
emphasizing the importance of a user-centric design, iterative testing, and stakeholder engagement. So what is the difference between this example and just talking about how you failed? I now have a clear understanding and picture of how you handle and overcome significant challenges. And now I can picture you as the candidate taking a positive and proactive approach to handling issues when they arise on the job that I'm considering you for. I cannot emphasize this enough. This simple change will be so impactful for you as a candidate. I strongly recommend that you try this approach in your next interview and let us know how it went in the comments. Good luck.